So you guys will take out pretty quickly. The other things we need to form the great Swebian nation. The Matrix tradition. Uh, no thanks. To unite Swebia, we need all the rest of the Swebian nations, which apparently do not include Lugia nor Bastarnia, but whatever. And these three little uh, minor nations here. Okay. I think after this war, we might become... What are we now? A regional power? We can become a... Uh, what, do we, what do we call those things? A great power? Does that count? Is that? Am I allowed to say those things? Uh, what are you? A major power. So do I become those once I get big enough? Regional power, then major, major power? I think so. And with that, we get even more nice things. Um, anyway, we'll declare right about now. Here comes the first war in, I think, three episodes. Sorry, it's been so long, but um, yeah, you know, just how it is. Uh, you guys can go over here. We'll want to decrease the speed, of course. Because I'll be swapping back and forth between these three general locations. I uh, will, of course, teach that for it, too. Just to make sure everything goes fine. How oh, about speed four? Speed four is well enough. Just to make sure I don't... Yeah, okay, see, exactly over here. I don't know if we'll be able to make it over there. Our side might lose. Our side, the uh, 4 6 4. Their side is the 4 5 2 1. Mm, our commander's off. Can we swap commanders? Yes. Okay, get ourselves a better commander. It'll allow us to live. This guy, he's just. He's a garbage commander. Zero? Ah, oh, yikes. Our ruler is 65 and unmarried. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you need to remarry, but. Uh, let's sort by whatever you don't have, which I guess is Marshall. Sure, marry. Arrange marriage. Allow the festivities to begin during the middle of a, a war, but, you know, just the same. Okay, let's see how we're holding up here. We do have the better tactic decision here. Uh, we do have the higher light cavalry, which does disgusting damage. Look at these flanks. And our flank is also wider than their entire width, which means our flank should do more damage. Because flanks always target like a couple spaces inwards. Yeah, okay. Having them on the flank is almost always the best thing you could do. Yeah, our side might lose. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know, bud. We turned out pretty okay here. Um, this side, we're going to have a battle here. But again, we do also have the light cavalry doing big damage. See, look how, ma how many units they're spamming out right now. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You both... Yeah, you're both uh, guys that don't reinforce. So having you siege is not... Not really uh, ideal. But sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Uh, you guys are going to attack. This guy, our general here, is a uh, 12. He's an absolute combat genius. Look at this man. Um, he's de dealing the heavy casualties. Look at that stack wipe. Good lord, that is disgusting. Okay, I have, I have a good feeling about the rest of this war now. I think uh, despite the fact we're going to very quickly be outnumbered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're already outnumbered. Um, just the addition of, of our light cavalry should just do so much more. Ooh, free stuff. So I can, <laughs> I can either get 10 stability for uh, 50 political power, and omen duration for five years. Or just five stab. Well, there's clearly a better option here. Even if I was, like, negative in, uh, in political power, I'd still take that. I mean, come on. That's so nice. It's so good. Yeah, so these guys are gonna take big casualties uh, under this siege here. Hopefully they can last long enough to, uh, to siege down the fort. We'll see. We can only really hope. Are you also retinue? No, you're not. So you actually will gain your men back. Uh, over here. Maybe this guy can... Uh, he's just so bad at fighting. I was thinking, oh, maybe he can deal a little bit of damage. Help out here and there. But he's just so garbage at fighting. It hurts. It hurts, really. Uh, maybe, maybe you can just deal with him there. Where are you going? Over there. Okay. Well... 
the forts, the sieges so far, they're doing okay. Really, the forts are the uh, turning point of every single war in this game. You take the forts, you pretty much win, usually. Because they occupy everything around them. Giving you free war score. As well as gives you a nice defensive hurdle to just sit around in. Or defensive place to just chill. There we go. We didn't lose much. I think they're also locked in, so... Should be another easy battle here. Stack white, maybe? Please? I'm begging? Uh, no, not stack white, but we did only lose 240 archers. Which is nice. Archers are cheap to reinforce. Mmm, this is dangerous. It's especially dangerous with the, uh, the fact that we don't have... What you call it over here? We, we can't reinforce on this fort, actually, which is what makes it more dangerous. If they reinforce them, we're going to have to leave. When are you coming in? Yeah, there's no way. We're backing out. There's no way we can win this battle anymore. I will move you over here. Okay, so the one the one fort here we'll have to take later. Yeah, using the uh, the retinues for that was a bad idea. Pretty pretty much a bad idea. Okay. Local unrest in uh, Viadrius. For local population growth. That sounds fantastic. More population growth is great. Get as large as a population as we can. I think we gained a few from um, raiding. Little territories, getting slaves and stuff. They might have taken even more. Obviously, they just... Took this stuff from over here. They've been raiding it a lot. We'll see them take like a pop every single time they sit on a province. Makes sense. The only uh, problem I see with that is they'll either kill a pop or they'll steal one. Let's see what happens here. Didn't tell me, but I'm sure they did something. They usually do. Anyways, um, if they take a pop, it's okay because we, we take it back once we annex their entire country. If they kill a pop, though, then it's just meaningless slaughter. Kind of. Not kind of, it just is. Just decreases the amount of anything good in the game by the pop that they killed. So, hopefully no citizens. Protect your cities is pretty much the main thing to think about that with. Mm. Not looking so solid. If I can grab that, no. No siege. The battle's gonna happen then. If we took the siege, maybe we could do okay, but no. We'll see what happens. You are a... Yeah, you're the combat genius. I believe in you, good sir. Okay, I believe in you a little bit less. A little bit. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Not even the combat genius can survive a uh, 20 stack like that. Oh, that is the weirdest retreat I've ever seen. Okay. I expected you to actually retreat like this and not create big problems like this. Okay. Well, alright then. You guys come down to here. Let's see if we can make some allies to help us out. Uh, I kind of doubt it. Oh, right. We can't make alliances to anyone who's not a uh, local power. That's always fun. Alright then. We're going to have our guys spread out. Unfortunately, that means their retreat path is also... Absolutely Garbo, and they're gonna run back into death. God damn it, that is... Oh, that is annoying. That is not fun, to say the least. Okay, uh, is it Merc time? I think it's just about Merc time. It'll cost us a little bit of money, but... You know, I guess I was overconfident. I didn't think they'd stack. Um, I think that's like... Well, pretty much half of their army now into that. Oh, I broke the siege, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, good. I almost just had a heart attack. I thought I broke siege by accident. I broke the timer, but not the actual siege. Okay. Mild heart attacks aside. This is just unfortunate, really. It's just a shame. Can we move you out? We can. Okay. Just a bit of a shame. There we go. We won one siege. That's good enough for me. Um, I wonder if we can take... Because against Semnonia, do we have a separate thing here? 
Hmm, we have to wait a little while. Okay. We won the siege too quickly, so they won't be set with us. Okay, then. Well, one of our uh, sieging adventures was successful, and, you know, that's good enough for me. Uh, mercenaries also reinforce by themselves, I believe. We don't have to reinforce for them. Meaning, uh, I think we'll have to pay them extra, maybe, if they work the same way as E4 mercs. If they work the same way as CK2 mercs, I don't think so. Uh, maybe. I don't know. But in any case, the money only lasts so long for us. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Against Semnonia. Uh, we, ah, right, we still have to wait that little while. Hmm. That does give anxiety a little bit. They might give up because we've, like, occupied their capital pretty much their entire country. It is a chance. Uh, we're gonna keep you here, actually. Alright, I actually used you guys last war. That, it wasn't really needed, but still use you for that, so that's fine. Ooh, uh, gain a bit of popularity sounds good to me. Bring these guys back. It's a little bit scary to have them there. Whew, boy, it has been an adventure here. We need these guys really to, uh, reorganize the units. Uh, the units? Yes, <laughs> the units for morale recovery increase. Um, I also need these guys, of course, to reinforce as fast as humanly possible. And we just need to wait one year. One year until June. While they do a lot of damage to my territories. One year, we can get Semnonia out. Semnonia, of course, has a mass of 20 units that we have to fight. If we can cut that out of the war, we can do a lot more. A lot more, a lot more effectively as well. So even if you take this, it'll still, I think, seed itself back down once you leave. So that was futile. Well, I've done a lot of that myself. Uh, I think, was it two, year, two wars ago? Something like that. A lot of things that didn't make sense. Uh, you're going to fight me here. Can I wait till you're locked in? You are going into Albiana, yes. Good. Locked in, I'll fight you. I don't even know if you knew I was here, but... Now you do, congratulations. Um, surprise. I don't know who will make it there to help you. N neither of you are actually going... Yeah, neither of you are helping them out. I don't really want to fight anyone else. Semnonia. Ah, it's still September. You guys are completely done. Good. You guys are more or less completed. We'll use you to help out. We have this one unit. They're both uh, attritioning. We'll move them out and then back in. Oh, really? You guys move fast enough to catch me on my way out? Nope. <laughs> oh my god. I hate, I hate that glitch, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I do hate that glitch, but when it happens for me, in my favor, oh, it is so much fun. So much better. Defection. Ooh. Oh, you left because of lack of pay. Hmm, we have been spending a lot of money, huh? Pursues their own agenda. You guys just, like, left, I guess. Stop being uh, raised as mercs. I didn't even get to use you for very long. Now this guy's disloyal, and he's just gonna... Nah, never mind. He just returned to being a mercenary. Okay. Waste of money, unfortunately. But now we do have multiple units to fight with. We just have to outlast until, I think, around June. Semnonia now at medium. Yeah, we just need to make sure Semnonia never comes back from this war. And try our best to fight everyone who isn't Semnonia. Uh, research points? Oh, thank god. That is the best event I could have gotten. For a dead event? That is so nice. Oh my god. I feel blessed. Okay, easy ward. That's Semnonia. I don't really have to fight them.
Mm, they're going to fight me anyways because they want to. Depends on how many people are going to be here. We're looking about equal. Um, who's actually leading this? Okay, the combat lo lord, the combat god himself is leading this battle. Um, you guys will reinforce, but take a little while if you can get there on time. This is a definitely one battle, so let me pause. Let me force march, move you in. So you can move a little bit faster. Please make it there on time. I know you can do it. I know you guys got this. Come on! Ooh, two days, two days! Good, good, good. Okay, you guys can make it now. Come on, I believe in you. The greatest battle Germany or Germania will ever see. We captured two enemy fighters, actually. God damn, two commanders. I've just been captured. Uh, is that GG for some Nonia? Not quite yet, but let's see where we're at today. 38 minutes. <laughs> God. Definitely too much. Uh, okay, we'll go for another... Another seven minutes and split it into two episodes. Oh, good lord. That is my own fault. The Great War has just been uh, consuming too much of my own time. I didn't even uh, expect it. So we'll go for a little while. Split it into two episodes. Make this a nice little journey we have here. I didn't think a, a battle like this would take this long, or a great little war here. Great and little. Hmm. Not really something you can say together, but... It's now May. Next month will be June, and June will allow us to... Peace out. Enemy separately. 25th of June, to be precise. So 25th of June is when we'll uh, peace out Semnonia, hopefully. Go for morale of armies. Just for the rest of this war, might be useful. We'll turn you off of Force March so you can regain your morale. Hopefully we can pull some Nonia out of this war. They do still have 21 cohorts, and the rest will be a total of 32. Something I think I can deal with, actually. We lost our religious research guy. And maybe we can swap you out for a little bit of a better one. It's now July, so Nonia now being low means we can take the entire country. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's done. Sononia now belongs to us. Very nice. Uh, let's go with the aggressive expansion decrease. And that's pretty much all we have for today for our two little wars here that, I mean, unfortunately, uh, spent a little more time than I'd like. Uh, turning this into two episodes rather than just one. Anyways, we'll start setting up for the rest of the war, which will continue next episode, of course. We do have barbarians over here we will deal with. We have should have one import over here. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, guess not, okay. Uh, oh, it was over here. Oh, we can... We can get, like, wood over here. No, we can't. There's no point, because they can't build... Um, those units anyway. It doesn't matter. Never mind then. These guys are going to automatically walk into here and just take big damage. Unfortunately, we'll take some damage as well. Less fun. But the game says we'll win. Mm, we'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah, never mind. That was an easy win. Okay, we'll move on a little bit. Move into here as well. This is friendly territory, so I'm curious. It's occupied. Do you still get manpower back? I guess I don't get to find out because it happened after, but... Oh well. Envoy from there. Uh, light infantry defense. That is, of course, um, the leather. That does give us a good benefit rather than just trading it to ourselves. So we might as well. Is it a 0%? How many are needed to siege? I'm assuming probably just 3,000, maybe 5,000. So we can go for a little while longer. Um, I admire your courage, but I don't know why you're doing this. 
Huh. Okay. Well, now with very few units, this should be an easy mop-up, easy clean-up for the rest of the war. Um, hopefully at least. We'll sit here. Uh, no, we won't, because that's attrition. Actually, it shouldn't be under siege. Why are you attritioning? That's a good question to ask ourselves. And you're not. Okay. You guys are fighting here. Um, hopefully we should be fine here. You guys have, like, half-strength units, a lot of them. Well, kind of. I don't know. Sure, we'll trade that over. Alright, you guys stay here. You guys go... Eh, I'm just going to there, sure. Is this an actual... Oh, right, yeah, of course it's still the fort. You just can't see each other anymore. So we'll bring you over. 5,000, I guess, is the, uh, the number we need. So we'll chill for a second. No one can colonize here. We don't have enough pops anywhere around here. We can move them. We can move them around and fix it all up. No problem. Alrighty then. Well, I think we'll have to finish the war tomorrow, like I said. And by tomorrow, I mean, like, literally in two days when it comes to you guys actually watching it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy these two episodes, I guess, since I went over in the first one. And as always, this is Corbett signing off. Have a fantastic day.